As a leader in compression technology, Nycopress manufactures sleeves, tools, and dies for your toughest wire rope swaging applications. This video will show you how to use the Nycopress 5606M 6-ton inline battery swaging tool and die for wire rope terminations. The 5606M is an inline battery swaging tool used for wire rope between 3 64 inches to 3 8 inch or 1 to 10 millimeters. It has a lightweight ergonomic design for easy one-handed operation. A 180 degree rotating head with forged jaws. Supplied with or without two batteries and 120 volts AC charger for continuous operation. Batteries have a state of charge indicator. The tool has LED lighting. The approximate number of crimps per charge is up to 400. First, locate instruction 5606M for reference. You can access and download tool instructions on the Nycopress website in the resources section. Next, select the appropriate compression die set for the sleeve and cable being used. All Nycopress Series 6 dies can be used with the 5606M tool. Slide each die half into place. Be sure both die halves are secure before operating the tool. Then you select the correct oval sleeve for the wire rope being swaged. And you can terminate the wire rope into an eye splice. Be sure to follow safety protocols. Wearing proper eye protection, form an eye splice by pulling one end of the wire or fiber rope through the oval sleeve and loop it back to form an eye. Line up the sleeve between the crimping die with the long axis perpendicular to the crimping action of the die. Then, you press the trigger to engage and press the sleeve. The compression jaws close when the trigger is pressed and stop when the sleeve is fully swaged. Inspect the pressed sleeve with the go gauge provided with the dies. Insert the compressed sleeve into the proper go gauge slot. Ensure that the compressed portion of the sleeve enters the go gauge easily. For more detailed information, refer to the 5606M instruction sheet. It includes troubleshooting tips. For more information, visit nycopress.com. Thank you for watching.